Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have hopefully another quick tutorial、um, with Canva. So in front of me, I have a square image、uh, or a square design、um, in the Canva editor, and what I want to do is I want to show you three different ways to create images. On Canva using AI, artificial intelligence. So some of you may be aware of the fact that Canva already offers its own、um, AI image creation tool called、um, Text to Image, and now they have two other apps、uh, within their apps library. One of them is、um, something that you may have already heard of. It's by OpenAI. It's called Dolly Two or Dolly, basically. The other one is by Google, and it's called Imagine. I think that's how you pronounce it. So we will look at three, all three of them today, and just kind of see how、um, how they kind of compare with one another, and what they look like, and how to use them. They're pretty much all the same, actually. I was playing around with them earlier today, and they all work the same way. It's just a different app. So. At the end, it comes down to whichever one you like. You may want to try out all three of them when you're creating an AI image for your blog post or whatever.、Um, try out all three of them for the same prompt and see which images speak to you better. Anyway, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on the Apps tab, and we will start with Canva's Text to Image. So. Text to image. When I start typing text to image, it shows up. So I will click that, and then it kind of gives you、um, all the different options available. And we're going to look at the text to image one. We'll click on、uh, click on that, and when you click it, when you click an app,、um, it gets added to your left panel like so, which you can get rid of by hitting the cross sign. So、um, you know if you Try something out. It gets added to your panel, but you're like, okay, things are getting a little too crowded. You want to get rid of them? Just click the cross,、uh, click the、uh, cross sign,、um, and then it will be gone. Anyway, so we are gonna test these three tools with the same prompt, and I have a prompt that I was playing around with earlier.、Um, oops, sorry. It is this one. No, it didn't get. Okay, let's let's type it out.、Um, an image of a bird holding a flower in its mouth in Van Gogh style, or something like in a Van Gogh style painting, something like that. Okay, let me. Copy that so we can use it again, and then click create your image at the bottom, like so, and give it a few seconds. It takes a little time to create those images. Working, working, working. The last one is taking long. Oh well, we have all the time in the world, don't we? No, we don't. Anyway, so、um, these are the four images, and as you can see, they look very similar. And I'm not sure about you, but they don't seem that much like Van Gogh. But anyway, you can create again by clicking the clicking this button right here that says Create Again, and that will give you some more options. You can. Uh, test with、um, the styles and whatnot, but we already gave it a style, Van Gogh style, so you know it should have picked up on that. But anyway, the images themselves are okay. The goal was to create an image where the bird is holding a flower in its mouth, so it kind of looks like it didn't really pick up on that, the holding the flower in its mouth thing. So、um, whatever. But you know, let's see. Let's put one of them. In the image, so when you want to place something, just click the image and it gets placed on the on the canvas that you have the design.、Um, so just hold the corner and drag them so it covers the whole thing. If you wanted to cover the whole thing or whatever you're planning to do. Anyway, so this is 
in and of itself, it's not a bad image. It's just not what I was looking for. So let's try a different program. Let's go to, let's actually get rid of text to image because I don't want to crowd my, um, pan, my left panel with too many things. So let's go back to apps and let's search for Dolly and click that so it gets added to your left panel. And I will do the same thing. And so I have pasted the uh, text, an image of a bird holding a flower in its mouth in a Van Gogh style painting. Click generate. Here's the first differentiator uh, between text to image and Dolly. Um, text to image creates four different images, four different variations, whereas Dolly only creates two different variations. So it created something. It's a little more artistic. This one is actually kind of like Van Gogh. I can see that. Um, and while the bird is not holding the flower in its mouth, but it's kind of close, I don't know. But it's, it's more of a Van Gogh style than what we saw earlier with the text image. So, you know. And you can, you know, uh, you can always edit the photo uh, with adjustments too. Um, you can hit the adjust icon over here and then um, play around with contrast and whatnot. Um, brightness, contrast, color, vibrance, saturation, etc., etc. You know, you can always play around with that. But anyway, so that's that's the Dolly version. Now let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of Dolly from the left panel panel and go back to apps and let's now search for Imagine. Imagine is a similar thing by Google. So click Imagine, and then I will paste the same prompt and hit Generate. And Imagine 2 creates only uh, two images, the same as Dolly. Um, and actually, this is this kind of reminds me of um, what text-to-image created, like the color, the contrast, and all that. But in this one, the bird is actually holding the flower in its mouth. On both of those images. So I guess I guess all of these have their own quirks, you know, like one of them is more Van Gogh style, but the flower is not in the bird's mouth. The other one is this is I think actually Imagine is probably the closest to both Van Gogh style and just reading the instruction, you know, where I said the bird is holding the flower in its mouth. Um, this one and this one too, it's actually holding the flower in its mouth. So good job, imagine. Yeah. I think my favorite for this particular prompt is um, imagine because it's, it's Van Gogh style and it's also uh, captured my instruction perfectly. It's, it, it has the flower in its mouth um, as opposed to the bird being positioned near a flower. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite. This one, actually between these two, I think this is my favorite image. This is kind of sort of what I had in mind when I was making out, making up that prompt actually. I just wish um, the bird's face was visible fully, you know, it's not cropped like that. Um, that's the only thing. That's the only reason why I might, if I were to use one of these images, I might end up using this one just because even though I like the other one better, like the left image better, I actually like the fact that I can see the whole bird in this one. But yeah, either one of them is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, so for this particular prompt, Imagine is a clear winner. Um, but yeah, feel free to, uh, play around on your Canva account. Um, and see which one you like. And it might just happen that for different prompts, you'll end up liking um, different programs. So, uh, you know, it's all there. So try out all three of them and see which one you like best. But yeah, that's today's uh, tutorial. I just wanted to show you that um, these are now available on Canva if you wanted to use them, both Dolly and Imagine. So you don't have to go to their website to create something. Um, you can just, if you have a Canva account, you can just do it in Canva. 
Um, yeah, that's it. And um, if you don't follow and uh, follow my YouTube account, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.